So Stability AI stuck to their word and released Stable Diffusion 3.5 Medium. As always, there'll be a link to everything you need in the description below. Now before we look at the workflow and some examples, there are some things I want to point out. This model is 2.5B, so smaller file size. Generation times should be a lot faster as well. But what's also different is the native resolution is 1440. So theoretically, you can generate larger images right off the bat. Under the model description, they talk about how there's dual attention blocks in the first 12 transformer layers. Keep this in mind for later. This is actually going to be very important. In terms of context length, you can go about 256 tokens. If you don't know what tokens are, it's just the way where prompts are broken down. If I take a look at this prompt here, we see the token count is at 62. So the word astral has two tokens. Each of the colors represent one token. So wave is a token, half is a token, even the commas take up these tokens. One of the limiting factors of SDXL was that you were limited to 77 of these tokens. So long prompts didn't work with SDXL. I believe Flux is at 500 roughly, and I could be wrong, but I think SD 3.5 large is around that 500 token mark as well. Now that's important to know because if you go over that 256 limit, things might start to break down, adherence could suffer, and you can also get some additional artifacts. The other thing to be aware of, they say here that it's a different training data set than the large model, so your prompts won't necessarily be similar. Now there are two models you can download. The first one is just the model itself, not including the text encoders, and it's just over five gigabytes. The other model that's available was provided by Comfy, and this one includes the text encoders at about 11 and a half gigabytes. So it's really up to you which one you want to run. You can put both of these models in your checkpoints folder. The workflows are pretty similar to what I showed you with SD 3.5 large, but I do want to point out there's another one called SLG example. This is the default SLG workflow and they provide a before and after. What's different about this workflow is this additional node called skip layer guidance SD3. Make sure you're on the latest version of Comfy UI. This was just implemented, I guess, today. So earlier I mentioned about there being 12 layers what this does, it skips 7, 8, and 9, and this node may help with anatomy deformities. It's not a cure for it, but it may help. I left it on its default setting, and I left all the default configurations together. This was the prompt that was provided. So here's the original image, and we see the legs are kind of messed up. But with this new node, we see that the legs are much better, right? Now, I'll be honest, I don't know how this all works. <laughs> I just discovered it myself. But try the default settings at first, and it looks like it's connected to the model sampling node and then the output goes to model under your case sampler. Now the recommended settings is 30 to 40 steps, starting at CFG 4.5 and up, sampler DPM++ to MSGM uniform. I've tried Euler, beta, and simple, and it works fine. In terms of inference speed on my Ryzen 5800X, 32 gigabytes of RAM, 3060 Ti, 8 gigabytes of VRAM. For these times, I was doing 40 steps, 1280 by 720, 32 seconds, 896 by 1152, 38 seconds, 1024 by 1024, 38 seconds, and 1440 by 1440, a minute and 36. These examples are just random prompts that I put together, comparing it between large and medium. As mentioned before, they're trained on different data sets, so you are going to get different results. This one was quite interesting because in the prompt, I had colored pencil, whereas large leans towards photorealism. Generally speaking, the prompt adherence is really good. In terms of color and contrast, I have no complaints here. And it's no surprise, again, with the hands, they could definitely use some improvement improvements. Although I would say on some of the characters I've done, the hands look pretty decent. But considering it's a 2.5B model and much smaller in file size, I could definitely see the community adopting this model, doing fine tunes and loras, not to mention the quicker inference times. 
And just like the large model, the photorealism, the skin textures look better, I would say, than Flux. Whereas with Flux tends to have that hyper-realistic plastic look. In terms of text, it performed pretty well with just a few words. When I tried doing the full word stable diffusion 3.5 medium, it took quite a few generations just to get one decent one. So I would say the text coherency is far back from the large model. It definitely needs some improvement, but if you keep it to like two to four words, it should be fine. So I'm curious what you think about SD 3.5 medium. Do you think the open source community is gonna adopt this model to use for training and LoRa's? Personally, I think this is how SD is gonna gain some ground on flight. The fact that you can generate 1440 by 1440 images natively and the quicker inference speeds are definitely a plus. Now in case you haven't seen the SD 3.5 large video that I did last week, make sure to check it out right here. Until the next video my friends, I'll see you when I see you.